So, you've run the marathon, sold the raffle ticket, dressed up, entered the four ball, begged and borrowed and finally reached your fundraising target. Thanks for all your hard work. And most of all, congratulations. You've made it to the Mellon Educate pre-departure briefing. Each and every one of you play a key role in making this school building blitz a huge success. Just a few more steps before we get stuck in, helping thousands of children get a quality education. One of those steps is to pay careful attention to this video. How did this all begin? It started with a heart and a brick. When a chap called Niall Mellon went on holiday to South Africa, he saw, beyond the spectacular views, something that he couldn't ignore. Smart, proud people living in dilapidated shacks with no electricity, no running water, no sanitation. And Niall knew he needed to change this. So one man with a kind heart inspired something huge. A collective effort of over 22,000 volunteers working together, building 25,000 beautiful houses which became a blueprint for millions of homes in South Africa. Then one day, Nelson Mandela shared some wise words with Niall. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And so a new vision was born, building schools and training teachers, creating a legacy that would grow and grow. Since 2013, Mellon Educate has been improving school infrastructure as well as teaching and learning in under-resourced schools in townships in South Africa. The charity's mission is to support the provision of quality education for a minimum of 100,000 disadvantaged children by 2025. Every one of you in this room are about to become part of a collective effort. Thanks to all our volunteers who are joining us this November. We are so excited to welcome our brand new volunteers. We cannot wait to meet you and share the Building Blitz experience with you. Never forgetting our veteran volunteers, we are so delighted that you are returning with us once again. It just wouldn't be the same without you. This will be our 7th Mellon Educate School Building Blitz and our 18th Building Blitz week in total. Our mission over six days in two schools is building 12 new classrooms, one playground, three covered shelters, one library, two ablution blocks, one outdoor gym, and improving sports facilities, impacting the quality of education for over 2,900 children. The two schools are Umphalani Primary School and Manzantombo Secondary School in Umphalani, near Kayalicha. Mellon Educate Director Ken Kingston visited the schools to take a closer look. 2019 volunteers, welcome to Mumfalani Township, a township about three kilometers from Kalicha, which many of you know. In this township in 2006, we held a housing blitz, and since then, Mellon Housing has built almost 3,000 houses here. So this year, we're working in two schools, Mumfalani Primary and Manzotambo High School. Welcome to Mumfalani Primary School, a school of 1,300 students. At the moment, their classrooms are seriously overcrowded. And with the classrooms that you add this year, you will make a huge difference, not only to the pupils in the school, but also to the staff working here. So this year, the work at Mumfalani Primary School will include two classrooms here, one of which will become a library, a toilet block further down, and behind me in this field, there will be six grade all classrooms, along with a covered shelter and a brand new playground. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bassa, the acting principal of Mfuleni Primary. I'm looking forward to, to see you, the volunteers from overseas, to do the work at our school. We are proud to have people who can look after us as a school. You are coming to do a change and shift the mindset of the people here in South Africa. Thank you so much. We are now just across the road from the primary school at Manzo Thamba Secondary School, a high school with 1,600 learners. We will be building five classrooms here behind me and a toilet block. On the far side of the school, we will build two covered shelters and also an outdoor gym and improving the sporting facilities. My name is John Matiso, principal at Manzo Thamba Secondary School. As I'm standing in this quad, it represents a lot of pride in me. This squad is where my under-19 netball learners are training. 
And as we speak, they are the national champions in the development teams in South Africa. I thank you very much. I'm looking forward to have a warm welcome, a warm relationship that must last us longer than the days that we would have met. I thank you very much. So volunteers, we're just weeks to go now to the 2019 Building Blitz. The whole community here and the schools in Mumphalane cannot wait for you to arrive. You're going to make such a massive difference. Weeks to go, guys. Hope you're ready for it. It's going to be fantastic. Once the motor has dried after the building blitz, the Mellon Educate education team continues the building process of strengthening and empowering the teachers in these schools to offer the highest quality education for all children. This is called the Mellon Educate Schools program and has been very successful in improving the pass rate in the schools we operate in. Township schools are generally overcrowded and many are under-resourced. These schools rely heavily on corporates and non-profit organizations to support them. These factors had a great impact on Namfla when she transferred to Usasazo High School. Like many other students in underprivileged schools, Namfla comes from a very poor family. She lives in a shack with her extended family in the township of Kailicha, Cape Town. A few years ago, my sister died of heart complications. She was only 14 years old. It was because we were not financially stable. We could not afford her medical care. I saw the pain my family went through, and it was very, very hard. I saw that I needed to be the change. I need to spare other families the pain my family went through. So I decided I want to be a cardiologist. And to become a cardiologist, you must have a good education. Education is a way out for our children, away from poverty and the background of poverty. The school is not only a place where children come to learn, but it's also a place where children come to be safe. Our vision at Usasa's High School is to promote self-empowerment, self-reliance and cooperation. The partnership with Mellon Educate is of great value to the school and to its learners. In building additional classrooms, it has alleviated the problem that you have of overcrowding and the teachers can now teach in a more calm, focused and conducive environment. We saw Namsla's uh, potential in her term one results. We managed to get her in uh, maths and physical sciences class in term two, because those are the subjects that she needed to get to medicine in tertiary institutions. Namsla has achieved second position in class in her final year at Usasa Azuhai. Her determination to succeed has been greatly helped by a partnership with Melon Educate. You're not just uh, building concrete foundations, but you're really laying a concrete foundation in the future lives for these children. Mellon Educate is about putting in place the tools that give these schools a long-term sustainable future. We are equipping these schools with the knowledge and skill set to achieve a pass rate that they never dreamed was possible even 12 months ago. Mellon Educate assist schools at the point of need. We develop the quality of the teacher in terms of pedagogics and didactics. And an empowered teacher teaches much better because she's got confidence. And this ultimately leads to better learner results and learner achievements. This holistic approach by Mellon Educate is helping thousands of children get a quality education. And like Namtla, they too can get a new perspective on their future. Some only see classrooms, but I see an opportunity to explore, to learn and to dream. With the education program well established in our partner schools, our annual teaching blitz follows in August. 
which sees Irish and UK teachers make a huge impact over two weeks of intensive knowledge sharing and mentoring. Take a look. This year we have uh, done a lot of work in preparing for our visit here. We had two preparation days back in Ireland where we worked with our volunteers in preparing lessons, in preparing resources and preparing the workshops. So by day two, really, we were in. We were in the classrooms, in all the lessons, everybody engaged, teachers already working together and sharing ideas and resources. So it's been brilliant this year. We're, 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 just, we're just bang in there. Coming into grade two has been an absolute joy. I have had so much fun every morning this week. The kids are excited, they're motivated. My local colleague here has just been, she's been amazing. We have such a laugh together and I've only known her a couple of days. I feel like I've known her forever. This is my second year back to Sosa Benza, implementing the Good Behaviour programme and the difference is made is huge. And we're thrilled with the results. I'm especially, their teachers are thrilled, I'm thrilled and we're just Looking forward to seeing it continue again next year. The volunteers came with the solution to the problem that we had as teachers. We now know very well how to handle the class. We are always smiling now. Thank you very much to, to the volunteers. What's important about this journey we're on together with Bell and Educate is that there's a sense of development each year. We're building up a new relationship with the teachers as well and I suppose imparting skills to them that they will use when we've finished after the two weeks. We want to make sure that we're making a difference each year we're here. My experience here has been absolutely amazing. I did not expect to uh, enjoy teaching these children as much as I do and it's really made me think about a lot about my life and it's made me just so much more grateful for everything that I have in my life and I'm so glad that I did it. Mellon Educate consistently identifies areas for improvement within our partner schools and we have programs that run throughout the year. Many of these would not be possible without the donations from our volunteers. Take a look. We have run numerous workshops this year aimed at enriching the learners as well as their parents and teachers. Our learners are encouraged to take part in art and dance projects offered at a number of our partner schools. This year has seen an emphasis on reading and literacy and gaining confidence in language use through our national literacy campaign. The goal is to improve overall literacy levels and instill a love of reading. Bushe Ntetwa, our newly appointed literacy ambassador, visited our schools in Cape Town to launch our inaugural Melon Reads for Africa Day event. Bushe, at 11 years old, has already published her own book, and her passion for reading and helping her peers to read inspired the children to see that reading can be fun. We were in Kayalicha in May, collaborating with Pick and Pay in their first ever building blitz at Velokaya Cycling Academy. A new kitchen was built, along with a vegetable garden, to feed the children who attend their programs. The after-school feeding program has been expanded due to our partnership with the Peninsula School Feeding Association and the Neighbourhood Farm Project. Some of our partner schools were aided in planting food gardens, which not only serve as a source of fresh produce for the school feeding scheme, but also provide an educational opportunity for the teachers and children. All our programs require continuous funding to ensure their growth. The annual Mellon Educate Gala Dinner is aimed at raising additional funds to enable the success of these programs. The total amount raised this year was approximately £750,000. Thank you to all who attended, donated prizes or made pledges and for all the support we've received throughout the year. By now, you will be inspired and energised for this life-changing blitz. Just a few more very important bits of information. Listen carefully. Environmental sustainability. 
Alongside our goal of improving school infrastructure, we also have a responsibility to be environmentally friendly. To expand on our current efforts and make greater strides in looking after our environment, we have implemented a strict no plastic water bottle policy. Each volunteer will be provided with a personalised, logoed and reusable water bottle at the beginning of the week. Please look after it, as this will be your only water container on site for the week. We already make use of biodegradable tea and coffee cups with recycling areas in place, and we would appreciate all volunteer support and assistance in ensuring that as much as possible of our recyclable waste is placed in the clearly marked recycle bins. On-site information. Last bus to site will depart at 7 a.m. sharp. It will not wait around. A hard hat and steel boots must be worn. Your name badge must be visible. You must wear your kit t-shirt on site every day. Please refrain from excessive cutting up of your kit t-shirts and other clothing out of respect to the local children and community. Please remember that you are working on a building site and appropriate clothing is required. Red card if you break these rules more than once, which means a flight home. All volunteers on site are broken into groups. The groups are made up of a mixture of trade and non-trade volunteers. There are four key roles to remember. Foreman. The foreman is the manager of the group. They wear a yellow hard hat. They coordinate all of your work. When you arrive on the first day, they will hold a meeting and assign your duties for the week. Volunteer support. Volunteer support will help with the smooth running of the group and deliver daily updates and communications. They will help with any problems you may encounter interacting with fellow volunteers. Health and safety officer. Our health and safety officer's role is to work side by side with the foreman to ensure that we have a safe and healthy working environment for all. They wear a red hard hat. Medical team. The medical team is based on the site compound throughout the working day and in the hotels in the morning and evenings. Remember, foreman, health and safety officers, volunteer support and medics are all volunteers just like you. They have raised their funds just like you and have voluntarily taken on extra responsibility to ensure the smooth running of the Blitz week. They are your colleagues and partners in this week. If you have any issue that you feel strongly about, please speak with Blitz staff. Health and safety. Our policy is the provision of a safe and healthy working environment for all volunteers during the course of the building blitz. Look after yourself and others. You must wear minimum personal protection equipment. Hard hat, safety boots or steel toe boots, gloves and shirts. All cuts and bruises must be covered. Wraparound glasses are a necessity. Long trousers are strongly recommended. Always remember a tidy site is a safe site. Read your health and safety book before departure. Security. Security of the volunteers is at the top of our agenda. We take it very seriously and have a professional security team working with us throughout the week. Here are a few very important guidelines how to keep safe during the week of the building blitz. The building site. Do not take chances, whether it is your first time or fifth time on the blitz. Do not cross the site boundaries. Do not take valuable personal belongings with you on site, such as jewellery, money, phones, expensive cameras or passport. Never walk alone. Only stay in groups of four or more people, especially at night time. Always ask the hotel to call you a taxi, no matter how short the journey. Never use on-street ATMs. Only use ATMs accompanied by a group. And remember, a group is four or more people. Always exercise caution because your health and safety is our priority. Educational program. Our educational program is a very important part of the Building Blitz. Whether you are a first-time volunteer or a long-standing veteran, please make the time to attend community and school visits we have arranged this year. It will help you to see and better understand what local families and communities are enduring. It will allow you to talk to people you are helping by taking part in the Building Blitz. It will inspire you to work even harder to help those who are in need. We kindly ask you to always remember we are guests in these schools. These are real lives and real people. Please treat the children as you would want your own children to be treated. Respect the local customs and culture and always ask for permission to take photographs. Never presume. Please check the visit schedule with volunteer support. Donations. 
The local communities really appreciate the donations our volunteers bring to them. But we ask you, do not donate directly on site or during the educational visits. This causes huge security issues for the recipients and compromises the family. Each year, as always, we will work with the local community leaders and social workers to ensure that everything is distributed fairly. Donations to the local community, and especially the children, are a huge part of our building blitz. We know that many of you have spent months collecting toys and clothing to bring with you in November. We have a variety of flights reserved this year. Please contact the office in relation to your individual luggage allowance to enable you to bring as much as possible with you. Blitz Logistics and Practicalities your flight tickets will be sent to you 14 days before departure. You must have a valid passport, and it must be in date six months after your visit is completed. This year, most of you will have two flights to take to get to Cape Town, and the total travel time will be about 17 hours. We will be staying in one hotel, the Cape Sun, Strand Street, Cape Town. For any queries or issues, a help desk at the hotel is manned by charity staff between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. every evening. A medic will be on call from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every evening. Our insurance requires that all volunteers must have their fitness to travel signed off by their GPs before traveling. Please check with your doctor regarding vaccinations and boosters you may require for Cape Town. When working on site, be realistic with your fitness. Take regular breaks. Drink at least eight bottles of water per day. Lunch on site will be provided. Never accept food from locals. It is the policy of the charity to please vet all our volunteers. If you have not yet returned your police clearance form, please contact the charity office immediately. Read up about your destination before you travel. Be knowledgeable and respect local culture and customs. Always ask permission when taking photographs. Never presume. We recommend you to bring the following items on the building blitz. Steel toe boots, light rain jacket, fleece jacket, and some warm clothes, light, loose clothing, small medical kit, prescription medication, lots of sun cream, after sun, insect repellent, and wraparound sunglasses. Hello, every one of our volunteers. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for the incredible effort each of you have made to come out on our 2019 South Africa Building Blitz. We're very proud of all of you. I'm here with the Metsaba. Am I saying that correctly? Metsaba, Metsaba yes. family. Yes. Um, there are 13 people living in this house and the bed that we're sitting on, six of them sleep on this bed and five on the bed next door. They know that education is the ticket for economic freedom for their children. And these families manage to live in very, very difficult circumstances. This family lives on a monthly income of 1,700 Rand, which is about 110 pounds sterling or 120 euro. And they try and make a total of about another 50 euro each, uh, 50 euro in total. So about 170 euro a month. And life here is very tough. It's been raining heavily here this morning and we've seen the rain coming down through the roof of the ceiling in their house. And their ceiling in this house is covered substantially with fire damaged panels from in 2012 when their home burned down. And the families here have to try and exist and rebuild their homes out of the fire damaged materials. So when you come here on these trips, you're not just changing the lives of the children who you're coming to help with beautiful classrooms, you're also bringing hope and love to their parents and their grandparents on the difference that you can make in the lives of their children and their children's and grandchildren's futures. So every one of you be very proud that what you're doing is vital work for humanity and for mankind. And I look forward to seeing all of you coming on our trip in November. Thank you.